Let's meet the visiting team, Los Angeles Lakers. At small forward, Rui Hachimura. At point guard, D'Angelo Russell. At the other guard position, Austin Reeves. At center, Anthony Davis. At the other forward position, LeBron James. Sports, get ready for some NBA action. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Barry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. And now the Los Angeles starters, Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward, AD as the center, and it's Achimura in at the three slot. And for Milwaukee, as always, it's Middleton and Giannis at the forward spots. Lillard and Trent Jr. are the guards, and it's Lopez in at the center position. Well, if you like scoring, we've got you covered. Yes, we do. Two high-powered offenses, and they're not just talented, they're relentless. So the Lakers will get the first possession here. Outside Reeves. James, a screen on Trent from deep. Reeves, Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Now the Bucks with it. And here's Lillard. Middleton outside. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. James against Antetokounmpo. Here's Davis. Good work defensively by Lopez. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Trent, the pass to Anadokounmpo, and the shot goes down. And I like that Giannis slowing down just a little bit in control there. Now Los Angeles with it. Russell deciding where to go with it. High post Davis. Puts it up from 17, and the jumper falls for him. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. For three, here's Lillard. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone one for three so far. They grant the combination of Giannis and Lillard one of the most fearsome pick-and-roll tandems the league has ever seen. You're spot on, B.A. You surround them with shooting, and you have the makings of an offensive juggernaut. Now here's Lillard. He's now one for two with that bucket. Great concentration in close. Damian Lillard, an effective three-level scorer. 
Outside Russell. First quarter, just about two minutes in. There's Davis with the three. That shot's good. Russell making the play. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now here's Anadokounmpo. And that one drops for him. Anadokounmpo's gotten his second bucket of the game. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. Reeves. The rebound by the Bucks. Lillard with the ball. Hachimura covering. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Rui Achimura. Defensively, you have to stay as connected as you possibly can with Damian Lillard. He's just too good with the ball. That leads to a foul. The first free throw is good. Well, Grant, there are few players in the league who can attack a defense from the logo, but Lillard is one of them. Yeah, and he makes it look so easy. You have to pick him up at the half-court line, and it's been that way for about a decade. Wright's checked in for Trent. And both free throws good for Lillard. And you know, Damian Lillard, a lot of his points come from the line, Brent. Well, he does a great job of getting himself there. I think defenders are, are so in tune with Lillard's ability to drill you from the three-point line. He gets around the initial guy and then into the teeth of the defense where he's very strong at attacking the rim. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. He wants to review the game plan. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Doc Rivers. I asked coach what it's like facing LeBron now versus earlier in his career, and he quickly responded, not much. He's still extremely difficult to game plan for. Even at this stage of his career, he remains a dominant force. So limiting his production will be crucial for them in this matchup, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Lillard. It's Middleton on the wing. Back to Lillard. Up and over Russell. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Lillard's got six points. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Hachimura outside. Not going to go that time. Good D by Middleton. Milwaukee leading by five. Pass to Lillard. Down low. Let's the three fly. Fires in the triple. Nine points in the game. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. The game is fully in their control. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Throw good. Achimura. Brent is checked in for Milwaukee. And the Lakers also making a switch. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. And we're joined now by Shams Tarania. He's calling in with a story. Good to have you, Shams. What's going on? Thanks. And this summer saw the passing of Laker legend, three-time basketball Hall of Famer, the logo, Jerry West, an all-star every year of his outstanding playing career before going on to have such a successful career as a coach and as an executive. Guys, this league will bear his imprint forever. Jerry West will be missed. An all-time great. Okay, Shams, thank you. Now here's Russell. Still no points. From the wings. Good work there as it goes. Russell. And here's Milwaukee now. Leading by five. Russell against Lillard. Pass to Prince. On a Kumpo outside. Here's Lillard. Six on the shot clock. Russell with the rebound. 
from deep. Reeves. Unable to get that one. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. And they double up on it to Kumpo over Reeves. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. That's a pretty sweet touch there shown by Tinta Kumpo. The D cannot relax when he's got the ball, especially in that spot. The three from Russell. Ana Kumpo grabs the board. Ana Kumpo's got six rebounds here tonight. Wright finds Lillard. Rebound by the Lakers. Two second difference between shot and game clock. To the wing on the left. Here's Russell. Rejected by Ana Kumpo. Giannis able to get stops from anywhere on the court. Davis with a screen on Prince. No one covering. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Just a big-time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Milwaukee Bucks, hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. And getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Connect is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Gabe Vincent. And it's Christie in at the two. James outside. Punching it inside. LeBron. LeBron. Assertive move by LBJ just taking what he wants inside. Well, Grant, even though it looks like LeBron could play forever, he stated that he doesn't have much time left. Well, it's unbelievable that he sustained this level of excellence for as long as he has. I would be surprised if we see this type of longevity ever again. And it's in there. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Lakers trail by four. Now, here is James. It's hauled in by Portis. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Right, the pass to Connaughton. It's Prince on the wing. From behind the arc. Gets the three to fall. And now it's a seven-point Milwaukee lead. Wow, Prince has a little daylight, and that shot looked true. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. Well, Brent, league-wide, more and more points being scored. You see that tapering off at any point? B.A., with all the rule changes and what we're seeing in terms of the skill set of players growing, I mean, the scoring is just going to keep them. How far can we go? I, I don't know. I feel like we're talking off a little bit. The only way we're going to score more points in the game is add more time to the clock. And Trent, he's checked in for right. And Los Angeles making a change here. Here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Pass to James. Over Middleton. James strong inside. This is something that LeBron James also does well. Good at shrugging off the defense, bouncing off of them, and then concentrating on getting the finish. Prince finds Trent. Now Connaughton. Now Middleton. No points yet. Six to shoot. Over James. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. They don't want to leave Middleton from that area. His mid-range game is on fire, draining those shots often. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the Bucks creating an elite tandem last season, pairing Giannis with Damian Lillard, who said people wanted to just click right away, but when you put two guys together who have always had the ball in their hands, it's going to take time to learn how to play off of one another. It's about making sure we continue to grow. B.A.? That's a good perspective, Allie. Thanks. 
Well, Grant, from roster to coaching changes, the Bucks have been trying to become an even more elite team. Yeah, teams are always tinkering now these days, B.A. The Bucks know they are a high-level team, but they want to dominate the competition on another level. Portis down low. He's defended by Hayes. And James has got the ball here for Los Angeles. Seven-point differential. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Achimura comes in for Reddish. Reeves is checked in for Christie. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. The Lakers with the ball. Outside Reeves, pass to James. Five on the clock. The three. The shot off that time. The Bucks leading by seven. Middleton with it. Russell covering. Connaughton outside. Here's Prince. This one for three. Russell with the rebound. The Lakers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. And Russell throughout the course of the game wants to constantly put pressure on the defense. He did so there. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one at the line is good. You know, Grant, after losing in the first round last season, it felt like changes were inevitable for the Lakers. Yeah, making the playoffs isn't enough for that franchise. They are all about championship success, and anything short of that is a failure. Christie's checked in for Los Angeles. He's perfect from the line this time. Grant, how about that in-season tournament win for the Lakers in 2024? Yeah, honestly, it just makes sense that the first of those trophies would land with a historic franchise like the Lakers. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Pass to Trent. Let's go with a three. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Trent's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. He wants to give them a breather and talk things over. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Yeah. On defense, the Bucks. Oh, oh man! Oh! oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Here's Anadokounmpo. He's got six. Lillard looking around. Hit again from deep. It doesn't take much or long for Lillard to catch fire. An incredible offensive talent. Outside Reeves. Pass to Davis. Over Portis. Davis can't hit. The Bucks leading by nine. 107 left in the first half of this game. For three, here's Lillard. That one doesn't drop. He's four for ten from the field now. The Lakers have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Milwaukee has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. There's contact, but Lillard slips through. And Dame Lillard with tremendous concentration there. There's 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Out to the right wing. Here's Christie. High post Davis. Oh, big man slam by the big man Davis. Oh, size and strength, and then the length of AD getting up to jam it. 24 seconds left in the second quarter. 
Trent against Reeves. Lillard outside. Shot clock at five. Again, the miss by Lillard. Russell from outside. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers. And, Coach, you guys came out aggressive in the first half. What stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. Direct your attention to center court and get ready for the half-court shot. Good line. They're measuring up the shot. Two back. One more time. A round of applause for our contestants. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And it's Lillard with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've got a nine-point lead. On the wing, it's Trent Jr. and Middleton. Inside, we have Giannis and Lopez, and it's Lillard in at the one spot. That's Doc Rivers' five as we get into the second half. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist by Lillard. Middleton's got six. That is tough, watching Middleton find some kind of shooting window there and then knocking it down. And as Chris Middleton has gotten older, Brent, he's had to battle a number of injuries. And yeah, no doubt this is what happens to an aging player, and for Middleton, they seem to just be compounding. The tough thing for the squad that he plays with is just how reliable and important he's been in the biggest moments. So he gives them confidence. He needs to find it back in his own body. And Lopez gets it to go. Bit of a challenge to slow Lopez down there, especially at his size. Even with good defense, maybe his frame just too much. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Lopez with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Got it. Trent's got his second bucket. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort timeout, of this timeout. team on both ends of the floor here tonight. And we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Hachimura. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian, Anthony Davis is letting it fly. He said, the way that teams are playing me, I've been getting back to the mid-range. It's an easier shot instead of fighting the double team. So that's all it is, continuing to trust it and shoot it. Brian, we've seen that jumper be a real weapon for him. Yeah, that's a good call, Allie. Thanks. Lakers trail by 15. Here's Russell. And the layup is good. Russell's got six points. Well, Russell's such a natural scorer and capable of connecting just about anywhere. Lillard with the ball. He's got 14. Trent outside. It's Middleton on the wing. Fade away. Hachimura with a rebound. The Lakers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. Here's Reeves. And he banks in the layup. And that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Lana de Kumpo outside. 
A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Two points. That one goes. Give him eight. Oh. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Yes, Andretto Pimbo. First personal foul. Second team foul. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Reeves against Trent. Over Reeves. Trent's shot is off. Lakers trail by 11. Launches it. And that's good. Austin, Austin Reeves. Reeves for three. Reeves has got nine. So good at reading the defenses and James anticipating when they overcommitted. The Bucks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Lillard against Russell. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Rebounded by the Lakers. Russell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Achimura. From the corner. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists in the game. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. The Bucks making a switch here. Wright's checked in. Christie's checked in for Los Angeles. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on an 11-2 run. Russell finds Davis. Here's Christie. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Here's Lillard. 14 points for him. There's a minute 59 left to play in the third. Back to Middleton. Let's it go from deep. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Now Los Angeles with it. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Despite entering his 30s, Anthony Davis is not slowing down, Graham. Yeah, B.A. And last year, A.D. put up the best rebounding numbers of his career. And his shooting percentage also very high. And just watching him, Davis is still an all-NBA caliber player, capable of taking over on both ends. Here's Lillard. Good work defensively by Russell. Lakers trail by three. Pass to James. Oh, LeBron sending it home. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. Yeah, possession is just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. And a timeout called here by Doc Rivers. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Milwaukee making some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Connaughton in for Damian Lillard. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Middleton looking around. And he comes up with a bucket. Middleton's got eight points. Very important points. I mean, they're trying to hang on to this lead now. They needed that. Benson, right side. Pass to Christie. Vanderbilt with it. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that Chris time. Middleton. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Fourteen foul. Oh. 
44 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Davis with a screen on Middleton. That one's good. This game is all even. Reddish has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Bucks have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Connaughton outside. Pass to Portis. Connaughton right side. Back to Portis. Shot clock at 6. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Inside. Here's Christie. And the go-ahead bucket. No good. Gets it off. The shot. No good. That's the end of the third. And it's tied up. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Three quarters behind us. We'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Well, the Lakers shooting 46%, a decent average so far. And the Lakers, looking at who they've got. They've got James. He's out there with Cam Reddish. Gabe Vincent out there with Jared Vanderbilt. And it's Christie in at the shooting guard position. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. He misses the free throw. Bochamp, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. They're ahead for now, but that miss could come back to bite them. Here's Lillard. Lillard unfazed by the contact. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at that. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Vincent outside. Some solid defense from Lillard. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Pass to Prince. Portis down low. Working on Vanderbilt. Portis' shot is off. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by one. Now Vanderbilt. Out to the wing. James, left side. Five to shoot. Vanderbilt, no good. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Lillard. Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Now here's Vincent. The D's right on him. Pass to Vanderbilt. Reddish on the wing. Out to James. Here's the three. And again, the Lakers, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Lillard up top. He's covered by Vincent. And yep, it's good. And now a five-point Bucks lead. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Offensive rebound. The Bucs have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Bochamp passes to Lillard. Just five on the clock. Trent with it. From 12 feet. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. 
And a timeout called here by Doc Rivers. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. Milwaukee making some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for Prince. And Chris Middleton is subbed in for Bochamp. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. Austin Reeves is checked in for Christie. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He implored his team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Here's James. And a wide open shot is on the money. Now just a three-point Milwaukee lead. Look, give LeBron the ball and get out of the way. LBJ again. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Drops in the three. Lillard's got nine points now in the quarter. That's one of the best three-point shooters. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. James inside. On a Kumpo covering. Pass to Davis. Outside Russell. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Milwaukee leading by six. And here's Lillard. There's the triple. Oh, Lillard laces in a three. And not just a volume shoot. Lillard, very accurate. Time running out for the Lakers. James deciding where to go with it. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. A minute 35 left to play in the fourth. Here's James. That one's off. Still out of sync. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Anadokounmpo against James. Shoots from the block. Hits wide right. Hits off the rim. Lakers trail by 11. Pass to Reeves. The three is up. It's Milwaukee with a rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Bucks. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Damian Lillard. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Russell and no good trying to use the glass Milwaukee has got six out of 15 three so far in this game pass to Ana de Kumpo and it's Lillard who picks up the assist finishing the game strong this is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback yeah definitely putting a stamp on this one a very very decisive victory for the club tonight Davis with a screen on Trent Reeves, the pass to Davis, and the shot's good. Assistant, Austin Reeves. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Lopez, the screen on Russell. Lillard can't get it to go. Outside Russell. Off target with the three. Puts the move on. The shot by Lillard. No good. So this one belongs to the Bucks. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And now we have Ali LaForce standing with the player of the game. Ali, take it away. Dame, you 
routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it, you know. So I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots, uh, crazy passes, and, you know, you don't make a high percentage of them, uh, but I made one tonight. Practice makes perfect. Thanks so much, Dame. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And we present the player of the game, Damian Lillard.